The trees are buzzing with activity on this fine autumn morning. High in the flowering gum tree, the lorikeets are chattering, shrieking, and even bickering. From the ground below, I watch enthralled. While the noisy flock continue to eat breakfast, I notice that the branches of the tree are humming. I narrow my eyes and I see bees. And I notice flying around the bees is an insect I've never seen before. Later, I discover it's a wasp. As I stand and watch, the animals and insects go about their business. I have a little revelation. One need not travel far to explore other worlds. Just visit a tree. Stand still and listen. And all of a sudden, something magical happens. Portals into other worlds open. And these little worlds are full of wonder. So it's been a busy and rather intense week Wonder Weavers. I'm in the middle of preparing materials for children's workshops that I'm giving at the end of this month and in early May. I'm having fun making a paper theatre. And um, as a result, uh, I decided to make some mini items for the kitchen of the dollhouse. In fact, inspired by Winnie the Pooh, I've been making honey pots and some jam. Um, thank you again to those of you who have shared your ideas in regards to replacing the bottom of the dollhouse. Uh, I am doing my research and I hope to replace it soon. And I'll, I'll share my experience with you and hopefully uh, that will inspire you and help you along if you're having a similar dilemma. In the meanwhile, Wonder Weavers, I would love to hear from you. How are your projects going? Uh, some of you are doing some incredible things and uh, I really love uh, reading your stories. So please uh, share with us in the comments below. Uh, but for now, let's make some honey pots and jam jars. My dear little bear, what is wrong? You say you cannot sleep. How can I help? Ah yes, you need a pot of honey. At the start of the week, I decide to make jars for jam and of course, honey pots inspired by no other than Winnie the Pooh. There are many wonderful ways that you can make mini jars and if you're interested in making them I encourage you to explore widely YouTube's library. For the purposes of my dollhouse project I'm drawing inspiration from the 19th century. Jam, marmalade and other substances were stored in a variety of vessels. 
including ceramic containers, and towards the late 19th century, glass jars became more common. In the description, I list some references and resources if you're interested in learning more about food preservation in the 19th century. So after some thought, I've decided to make ceramic containers from polymer clay and imitation glass jars with the help of a glue stick. I start with the ceramic containers conditioning the clay. Once soft enough, I take a coloured pencil, this is a Faber-Castell coloured pencil, I mould a small amount of clay around its end, creating a cylinder. I carefully trim the walls of my mini vessel. I would like the containers to be 1 to 12 in scale. So using the dimensions of some of the containers I saw online as a guide, I work out that the walls of my vessels need to be around a centimetre in height. Next, just below the mouth of the vessel, I emboss a line horizontally. And to help me do this, you'll notice that I'm rotating the pencil. Then I carefully remove the pencil and smooth the mouth of the vessel creating a rim. And my trusty hairpin comes in handy for this task. I go on to make several ceramic containers or pots and I have a bit of a play creating different colours and textures. For example, I mix white and stone coloured clay together. Once I've finished moulding the containers, I decide that I'd like some of them to be off-white or cream in colour. I use my paintbrush to apply a layer of light peach pastel. Once I've finished applying the pastel, I put the mini containers in the oven for a few minutes. For the imitation mini glass jars, I'm going to cut up a glue stick. I'm first going to round the edges of the base of the stick with the help of a candle. If you decide to follow this method, please be careful when working with a flame. I hover the glue stick above the flame and rotate it. I wait until the glue has cooled and set and then using my hobby knife, I cut a one centimetre length. I repeat these steps until I've cut up the entire stick. Now it is time to make honey and jam. I place a small amount of pure gold mica, bright yellow pastel, and brown pastel into a clean container. 
and then add a dollop of PVA glue. I mix all of the substances together thoroughly. And then with the help of a matchstick, I put the glue into the container. Once I've filled all of the containers and put them aside to dry, I apply light layers of the shiny glue to the imitation glass jars. I make imitation strawberry and blueberry jam in a similar way using mica pastel and glue. But for these, I also add a few drops of ink to darken the colour. I then varnish the containers. I'm going to cover all of the containers with cloth. I have a play with different fabrics such as calico and strips of a checkered tea towel. I also try and use embroidery thread to wrap around the cloth. In the end I found this to be very difficult especially when I want to be able to remove the cloth of the ceramic containers and have a peek inside them. To overcome this challenge, I decide to cover floral wire with shredded craft paper. Then for the larger containers, I cut out circular pieces of calico or tea towel with the help of my PVA glue lid. I wind the paper covered floral wire around the neck of the container and then twist the two ends together and trim away the excess. I place the calico over the mouth of the vessel and then the wire. For the mini glass jars I follow a similar process, however I make two changes. First I cover them with muslin cloth and second, instead of floral wire, I use beading copper wire covered with shredded craft paper. There you go, my little bear now has a pot of honey. Thank you for watching Wonder Weavers. I really appreciate your support. Uh, have a really lovely weekend wherever you are in the world. Take care, stay well, and don't forget to play. Adios. Ciao. The pot of honey did the trick. My little bear is fast asleep. <laughs>